What's up, crew fans? Jordan Angeli here and joined by our newest signee, Kevin Molino. How you doing, Kevin? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, you're in Trinidad right now, which you got to tell us. How nice is it at home? <laughs> amazing, amazing. Good weather. It's, it's not freezing, no cold. There's not a bad place to have your off season, right? Yeah, fantastic. I'm enjoying it. Oh, good. Uh, well, really curious about how you made this next step in your career to come to Columbus. And with your time with Minnesota, what impressions did you have about the crew as you considered this maybe your your next possible move? No, um, I've been a fan of Kayla Porter since in Portland. I've been a fan of him. Um, I watch the team play. Great team. Uh, the identity they play with. Their confidence, good relationship with Nagby, Zanes, a couple other players. Um, also, Stan John played there, uh, Ansel Elcock, Julius James. So, they was also a part of uh, making me uh, make the move. You know, I'm a big fan of Stan, you know, and um, looking forward to, 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 to being in Columbus and training with the guys. Well, you mentioned some of your now teammates there, Darlington Nagby, Lucas Celarion, other players that I know you, um, when you talked to the coaching staff, you really admired their play. What did the current team and how did they influence your decision? And have you had any conversations with some of the players? No, me and Nagby have a, a good relationship. You know, we message, you talk anything you need, let me know. Uh, as soon as I sign, and you know, we have a good relationship. So he was part of. Uh, I w- want to play with him. One of the best midfielders in the, in, in the league. Let's be honest. And Zion, top quality. Zarias. We could go on and on, but uh, more these two guys uh, make 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 me make a decision too. When you had those first initial conversations with the front office staff and Caleb Porter. Uh, they have spoke pretty outwardly about the ambitions of the club and how it's not just about MLS Cup, how it's about other, winning other trophies as well. What were your takeaways from some of those meetings and what are those ambitions or what is the culture of the club that you've really enjoyed um, and helped you make this decision to come to Columbus? Yeah, just uh, everything, the new stadium, the, the, the sign-in, one of the best strikers in the league, in the history, Bradley. We just signed Kitchen, so the ambition they they, they, they want to shoot for the star, and um, I want to be part of that because that that type of will be my mentality that I want to be the best, and I think I always think that I'm the best. You know, you can't think about yourself being second best. You have to think that always you are the best, and, and um, the club just fit my um, my mentality and my personality. Yeah. One, uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed watching you play in MLS over the years and during the playoffs and we heard that you were a free agent and things might not work out in, in Minnesota going forward. I remember sitting in the broadcast booth with one of my colleagues, Brett Hiltbrandt, and we said, what if? What if Kevin Molino comes to Columbus? And now here you are getting prepared to make that move. What have you heard about Columbus as a city and um, what are you excited to do with this club going forward? Uh, first, you talk it into existence. First, you talk it. But uh, hey. <laughs> no, the, bring, first, I uh, bring my culture, bring my culture to the to the club, to the to the locker room. Who I is as a person, and mesh it with the the group who, who, who there. You know, and I'm looking forward to be in the city, a very quiet city, which um, that is me, very chill and relaxed. You know, I was living in Minnesota, where it's very cold. I can live anywhere else. You know, and, <laughs> I'm True. back home, so. I just looking forward to everything, um, everything that uh, this uh, new journey have for me. And, um, right. I just want to accept it with open hands and um, go on the field and perform. You said you have a very chill personality, but you have a pretty spicy nickname, Hot Boy. What, what's, <laughs> what, what's with that nickname? <laughs> uh, that's the way I dress. I dress crazy. Um, I dress cold. They call me Hot Boy when I'm back in Orlando. I spent six years there. Um, I had a really, really great time. But um, the nickname is, is different. <laughs> <laughs> it stuck with you. And you yeah. said that's with your dress, how you dress? Yeah, I dress crazy sometimes. 
hey, my you know, colors. And <laughs> yeah, Harrison Awful has some good style too. So you two yeah. are probably going to fight for that nickname going forward. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh, well, Kevin, it's been so great to chat with you and to hear a little bit about why you chose Columbus. I know I speak for all crew fans when I say we just can't wait to see you in the black and gold. And uh, welcome to Columbus. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you.